Apple's handoff feature lets you transfer activities between your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and Mac. For example, you start reading an article on Safari using your iPhone and then realize it would be much easier to read on your iPad. With handoff enabled, the switch is easy. You don't need to copy the URL or send it to yourself via email. You just have to have handoff enabled. In this video, I'll walk you through the setup and requirements. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. Handoff activities use Bluetooth LE and transfer them using Wi-Fi. You'll need an iPhone 5 or newer, iPad 4 or newer, and any Apple Watch. They all need to be logged into the same iCloud account using the same Apple ID and connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Because it uses Bluetooth, it works within a close proximity. The handoff feature works with Safari, Maps, Mail, Reminders, Calendar, Contacts, Pages, Numbers, Keynote, and many third-party apps. It's enabled by default, but this is how to check it on your devices. Make sure that uh, handoff is enabled on your uh, iPhone and iPad. You'll come into the settings app on either device. You'll scroll and tap on general. Now you'll select airplay and handoff, and then just make sure that handoff is toggled on. To uh, enable handoff on your Apple Watch, you can come in to the watch app, you can make sure that you're on My Watch in the bottom left corner, tap on General, scroll until you see Enable Handoff and toggle that switch on. You can also enable handoff directly on your Apple Watch by tapping on Settings, General, and then Handoff and making sure that the toggle switch is turned on. Now let's get to the fun stuff. How to use handoff on your iPhone, iPad, or even your Mac. So let's say I start an email over on my iPhone. Well, as you can see, immediately on my iPad in the bottom right corner, you'll see the mail icon. And in the upper right corner of that icon is my iPhone. So if I'm starting a new message on my iPhone and decide that I want to finish it up on my iPad, if I just tap on that icon, you'll see that it automatically opens up the email that I started over on my iPhone and brings it into my iPad. Let's move on to another example. So I'm reading an article on my iMac and I'm headed out the door. So I want to transfer that article over to my iPhone. As you can see, the article that I'm reading is actually in the Chrome browser, not Safari. So if I swipe up on my iPhone halfway up the screen to enter into the app switcher, you'll see in the bottom of the screen, there's a little notification saying Ellen's 27 inch iMac. If I tap on that notification, that article will be transferred over to Safari on my iPhone. If you want to use the Apple Watch for handoff, you need to remember uh, one thing. It only goes in one direction from the watch to the phone. So let's say I re receive an important email notification on my watch. I tap to open that email and decide that I need to, to reply to that. But I know that it'll be easier to reply on my iPhone. Swipe halfway up the screen and when you do a notification will pop up saying mail from Ellen's Apple Watch. I'll tap that to open it and it'll immediately take me into that email where I can you know, respond to that email quickly from the iPhone. That's all there is to handoff. You may be surprised at how many third-party apps support handoff. 
this one feature could save you more time and taps than you can imagine. Give Handoff a try and let me know how it's working for you in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.